Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more FTL, Infinite, not Infinite, it's uh, Captain's Edition. The commander of the this impressive pleasure station says he can provide services as long as you've got the scrap. It's a pirate black market. INV refit. You consider dealing with the station. You can hire Olivia, hire a hacker, purchase detailed mappings. It only has level 1 shields, maybe we should just attack it. I think we can take it. Let's just attack it. This place is rotten to the core and as much a threat to the Federation as the Rebels are. No need to spare it. It's got weapons, but it can't dodge and we've got a lot of weapons. So we've got a lot of firepower right now. Just imagine if we had one more system power. Oh, that's right. We're, we're avoiding auto-fire, aren't we? What was that? Uh, scrap cannon of some sort. Oh, I appear to be online for some reason. Alright, let's take down those shields. Kill the station. You have made your point. We are beaten. Take these and leave us to our shame and repairs. We will not accept surrender. Never give up, never surrender. Of course. Why would we ever surrender? Or let them surrender? I love the fact that there are stations in the game. It's really cool. So he's got to be almost maxed out. Yep, there he is. Fully maxed already by Sector 2. The station's generator core detonates, tearing the structure apart. You gather what you can. So I think maybe we would have gotten more if we didn't blow it up. But that's okay. An especially well-armed pirate ship approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members and the rest of you can go unharmed. We will never surrender. So he's got a mind control and a cloak and dual lasers. Yikes. Let's give you somebody to fight because I don't want my, my shields to go down. Ouch. Oxygen room just caught on fire. That was a lot of damage. Fortunately, it didn't actually take down the system. Please stop fighting. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Shoot, that means I just drained the oxygen from that room. <laughs> I'm trying to drain the oxygen from this room. And one of our weapons did just go down. Okay, so we got to take down the weapons. We just have to. And now we do need to get that oxygen operational because we're already kind of low on it. And his, most of his weapons are damaged. He's just now powering this one up again. So I'm not too worried about that laser thing. It's like a scatter laser or something. Please stop mind controlling my guy. Alright, I think we just go ahead and fire now. The old laser's gonna be charged up soon enough. We surrender, take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll all die anyway. Okay, so accept, free the slave, and drop him off at the next station. Accept it and force him to work on our ship. Of course we're going to force him to. Your, post, your opponent jettisons the slave towards you in a pod and jumps away. You just committed an act of slavery. This might disturb your crew. We need any crew we can get aboard this ship. See how the crew reacts. Yeah. One of your crew members sends a formal complaint over the comms arguing that disregarding individuals personal freedom violates the Federation sentient rights charter the crewman already deserted your ship via an escape pod at least you now own a slave and he can replace the deserter you wonder if all of this is really the right course of action <laughs> what <laughs> where's where's the new crew <laughs> So I just lost two crewmen due to slavery. Okay, so apparently slavery is bad. Don't do slavery. 
That sucks. Normally, when you attack slavers, you just get a new crew. Well, I guess I should be a little bit more cautious about the uh, whole slavery thing. I guess it's also time to train John up on, on weapons. Well, that's really unfortunate. There appears to be a number of small stations nearby. Before you have time to scan them, warnings go off. A rebel teleporter activates in one of the stations. We've been boarded. boarded. We have intruders on board. Okay, so in situations like this, we're just going to do the only thing that makes sense, which is just vent all the oxygen in every room except for the med bay. And we'll go fight there. This forces them to come fight us in the med bay. Where we can win. We went from four crew down to two. And we didn't even get to keep the guy. Just makes me so sad. Hmm. Well, we, we, I mean, at least we started off with some pretty good weapons. Maybe we can make up for it. A few clicks ahead, a rebel AI turret floats right in the middle of this wide open clearing. The other thing is we seem to be lacking power now, because the Zoltan was powering the weapons for us. That looks like to be a, uh, a charge ion. Sad. Managed to hit two separate weapons with that. How did he do that? Two separate systems. The AI heals you. <laughs> it's going to try to blow itself up again. Awesome. I just want more of these re-basics. Satellite breaks apart. We're going to keep on... Keep on going through the nebula, I think. Just so we have more time. You arrive at a beacon in pristine condition as you move to the as you move in to investigate who has constructed it, the computer registers a level eight offensive structure ahead in the clouds. An automated rebel beacon layer drifts out in the in the clouds. It has identified you as hostile. That thing is monstrous. You are hailed. I am an almost infallible rebel automated cruiser design designated input threat output destruction. You have been identified as a target. Prepare to be eliminated. Awesome! That thing is big and scary. Please don't kill us. You don't seem to have very many weapons, though. And you don't know how to charge up and, and fire them at the same time. Or aim at good rooms. Now you have no weapons. He does have a backup battery. And for some reason he's hacking our doors. Hopefully the weapon systems will stay down long enough that we can go ahead and just take him down. I, I mean, he's a huge ship, but he doesn't seem very very strong. It, it looks cool, though. I mean, I'm really... I think the, the ship looks awesome. Alright, so weapons and shields are both down. Let's just stay on auto-fire. Take down all our systems. The automated cruiser slowly spins up its FTL drive. If it gets away, it will certainly inform the rest of the fleet of your position. I don't think it's going anywhere. I'm pretty sure this ship is a big... big joker. A final salvo pierces right through the autocruiser and the massive construct starts to slowly break apart. You collect what, you, what usable material floats nearby, but the wreckage is so big that more time would be necessary to salvage everything. You run a quick debris drift analysis to see what you could gather. Spend more time or ignite the FTL drive. Ignite it. Like, turn, like light it on fire. Yeah, I think we do take more stuff. 
Okay, fleet pursuit. So we just essentially spent two turns here. You slowly circle around the beacon several times and have your crew keep track of all the drifting parts that seem valuable. The stuff you can you collect isn't bad, but you lost a lot of time, and your rebel pursuers will be catching up to, with you sooner now. Yeah, but we got like 40 scrap, and they're still not even on the map yet. We'll just keep going through the nebula. That's a lot of scrap. Yep, we're gonna attack. We're gonna attack it. Yep, of course. Our two-man crew, John and Liam. Hey, hey now. This is this is top priority, I think. Got to get this squared away. Darn fire in the weapon room. Okay, so the fire seems to be out. The auto one can't do anything on its own, so we'll charge these two up. He's ionized my weapon, my shield room, or sorry, my my med bay. We'll open the interior doors, try to flood this room with oxygen again, so he doesn't suffer while he's trying to fix those up. Stop it! Don't ionize that! A darn missile's coming again. Nice. Alright, I think we just wait. Probably want the shields on. Although shields don't do much against the missiles. Unfortunately, we ate another hit, but we can get the uh, the auto one ready to go again. All right, so next volley, we'll have everything in there. Poor John, he's he's a, a little bit of an every guy. He has to work in every single job. He's like a bard. This thing is really re it just regenerates so fast. But we got him. Investigate the station. Salvage everything possible. Right, it sounds like we have a fire in this room. And in this room. Yeah, we can see there's a fire. So John's going to have a hard time healing himself up, but... Here. We'll open these rooms to spread the oxygen a little bit quicker. John's going to be okay, don't worry. Fire seems to be out. However, the oxygen's off. And there is still a fire in that room. Hmm. So now you have to work in an oxygenless environment. We still have some oxygen. I'm just kind of concerned here that... Uh... Alright, can you go work in this room? Nope, no oxygen in there. The fire's spreading. Come on, Liam. Please tell me the fire went out in the oxygen room. Alright. Hopefully there's enough oxygen left in the ship that he can fix it in time. If not, I'm just dead. Nope, we're just dead. There's not enough to actually spread it out. I don't have any exterior doors open. I just, just, it's just done. There's barely enough room in this, in this one, but there's no oxygen in this room. I can't spread it to that room. We lose. It's over. <laughs> Game over. Damn it. Okay, well, it's, uh, it's time to restart. <laughs> this time... Preferably without losing two of our crew to stuff. Your humanoid crew wonders if the crew is ever going to have a day off. No, we won't. Darn, we had like two and a half, 250 scrap. You come across a large trade station. However, as soon as you approach, a warning goes off. Do not associate with the Federation sympathizer. You find a single store. Don't open any wide band channels. We'll sell to you, but... We don't want to draw attention to ourselves. Okay. We don't really have any... Uh... Ooh, it's an Effector 1. It's a basic electronic warfare system that can continuously disrupt systems. Two power. 
And it just does ion damage. Hmm. And then we have a tight, a tight SP hull beam. Fast charging beam that is most powerful when targeting empty sections of hull. Tight spread, system damage plus one. So tight SP, tight spread. That doesn't make much sense, does it? A tight spread, so it does extra damage to systems, but then it does extra damage when targeting non-systems, so effect effectively it does two damage in anything. Hmm. Well, obviously we can't afford it, so it doesn't really matter, but... Hmm. After a short time, you receive a message. Hello, I hope it's not a bother, but I'm looking for an escort to a nearby system. I think we accept. Hey, that's actually kind of perfect. Yeah, we'll just go straight to it. See what this one is. The ship you were escorting thanks you. I don't think we could have made it. Okay. A focused flail beam. Shield piercing plus one beam range times 0.5. So it can go through shields, but it doesn't do nearly as much. And then a wide spread bardish beam. Hmm. It's a lot of different types of weapons. Again, we, we, have, we have no money. There's all these stores everywhere and I have no money. No scrap. You find a rebel combat ship that has been reassigned as an emergency supply vessel. The local civilians are apparently in need of help. Let's just attack them. Seems to me like offense is the best choice in most circumstances. I'm still kind of upset that we that I died though. Because of the oxygen situation, well, you should have been fine. It would have been much easier to handle if we had four crewmen. But we learned. Live and learn, you know. Rebel Invader, SH. With the Rebel ship destroyed, you take the time to collect what little scrap remains. They had already made their delivery to the civilians. Should we... St See, I feel I'm really leery now of doing evil things. But let's do it anyway. Damn it! <laughs> the colonists willingly give up their supplies, but as you make it to jump away, an explosion rocks your ship. The cargo is booby-trapped. Awesome. One of these days I'll learn my lesson, but not today. Alright, how about from now on we'll be friendly. Friendly to the, the natives and the civilians and stuff. Not going to worry about healing him up. We still have no scrap. There's just no point in even going to the store. We have 18 scrap. Where were all these stores in the last playthrough when we had 200? Wow, what is that thing? Can be shut down. Okay, so it's just a defense drone, but it, it's it looks different. Doesn't appear to be able to shoot down lasers. We can easily handle a single laser. Not a very hard ship. Okay, lots of stuff that time.
Yep. Time to attack the pirate. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's got... Well, it's charging in both directions. Ouch. Might be my own fault with the fire problem before. You know, I have a tendency, anytime there's fire or people that board my ship, I just like to vent the oxygen. But you probably shouldn't vent oxygen when the oxygen's damaged. I think that's the real issue. Lots of stuff. Well, I think even though we lost our ship with the kind of a nice early early game weapon, that, that thing that shot two laser blasts for one power, pretty awesome. Um, I still think we'll be okay. Just have to keep on playing. Every FTL runs different. I want I want one of those lasers. Whatever he's using, I want to try him out. This time we're not going to lose Thomas and Oni. All right, cool. Well, I am going to take a break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.